Um, hi, uh, this is Drew, better known as KUK99, and yes, I'm back with another video, and this one is going to be very, very quick. Um, I don't have much time because the season's about to start, but I'm going to give you my Big 12 predictions for the upcoming 2020-2021 men's basketball season. I haven't done this, and I basically have almost no time to do this, so I'm just going to rush through it and just give you like a couple things that I got on my mind about each team and where they stand. So without further ado, here's my predictions. First off in last place, I'm going to have Kansas State, and this one is pretty much a no-brainer in some people's minds. Uh, K-State didn't do well last year. They struggled throughout most of the season. Uh, I'm surprised Bruce Weber is still their head coach. Uh, there's a good chance he might get fired this year if they finish last again. Um, and that's what I see happening. So K-State, you're in 10th. Ninth place, I have Iowa State, and Iowa State struggled last year. Uh, even though Steve Prome at Iowa State, he did win a Big 12 tournament, but other than that, I really don't see him doing much this year. Uh, Halliburton's gone, so that's a key guy that they don't uh, get back. I think they'll do better than K-State, but it's not that by not by that much. So Iowa State, I have you in ninth. Eighth is TCU, and uh, TCU is a really good squad. Um, even though Desmond Bain's gone um, as he went to the draft, um, they still have good guys that. Um, can get quality minutes in the NBA. Jamie Dixon hasn't really produced that well in Fort Worth. However, he did get them on the map a little bit as they did get ranked a couple times, but that's pretty much it. I think they're better than Iowa State and I know they're definitely better than K-State. So TCU, eighth place. Seventh is Texas. Now this was a toss up between OU and Texas and the Longhorns lost the ladder. Uh, so they really haven't done much since Shaka Smart got there, um, they wanted to, when they hired him, they wanted him to bring back the good old days of KD, Lamarcus Aldridge, DJ Augustine, the Rick Barnes era. But that really hasn't been the case, and I think that's still not the case. And Texas really needs to regroup uh, in a way, probably firing Shaka Smart. So that's why I have Texas in seventh. Sixth place, I have Oklahoma, and it's the same thing. They get Brady Manic back, um, but the team just doesn't seem like the team that they had when it was like 2016 with Buddy Heald or 2018 with Trey Young before they fell like nine straight. Oklahoma, I think they'll do better than Texas, so that's who won the toss up between the two. So, Oklahoma, sixth place. Fifth place, I have Oklahoma State. Now this team, I don't know what's gonna happen, mainly because I, whatever Cade Cunningham does at Oklahoma State could turn the program around and they could win the Big 12, possibly. With their recent struggle, there's a good chance they could fall all the way down to last place like they usually do um, in the last couple of years. Or they could be like one of the top teams in the Big 12 when they had like Markel Brown and uh, Marcus Smart, those teams, but Fifth, I see him like the middle of the pack. I'm going to keep it there and just hope. So fifth place, Oklahoma State. Fourth is West Virginia. Now, Bob Huggins went with this group of guys. Uh, I think they can do really well. Um, a couple years ago, West Virginia was last in the Big 12. Now they, they, and they bumped all the way up to fourth last year. Now I think they're going to stay fourth because I think the top three are basically locked. They're they're returning almost everybody back. Uh, they'll be a good team, and I think there's a good chance they could go far in the NCAA tournament. So, West Virginia, I have them at fourth place. Th third place, I have Texas Tech, and God, Texas Tech came out of nowhere in the last couple of years, going all the way to the national championship uh, in 2019. Unfortunately, they didn't have a season in, or a postseason in 2020. But Max McClung is their new transfer guy and I think Texas Tech will be one of the excuse me but they'll be one of the premier teams in the Big 12 uh, that's why I have them in third uh, yeah I they, they could easily win the Big 12 if they wanted to but right now I have them in third second, second place I have Kansas now these guys could easily win the Big 12 okay I'm a little biased but still um, the team can easily win the Big 12 if they wanted to, um, but losing Doak, which I was surprised he went in the first round of the NBA draft, 
and losing Devon Dotson really hurt the team. Now it's a matter of can the 2021 team be like 2020 in a way and like regroup. Coming off a Big 12 title win last year, uh, but they get Gonzaga first game, get Kentucky, oh man, Creighton, geez, a lot of top 15 teams in the first weeks. So I think we're going to be fine, but I don't think we win the Big 12, so that's why I have them in second place. And easily number one is Baylor. There's a good chance they might win the national championship this year. Um, they were turning all their starters except Freddie Gillespie. And what can you say? Scott Drew has put Baylor somehow back on the map. And I really don't know what else to say. I think Baylor's going to run the table. Butler's back. Uh, yeah, Butler's back. Good lord. He, he killed us. But Baylor is going to be your Big 12 champ, in my opinion. So those are my Big 12 predictions for the upcoming 2020-21 season. Uh, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and push that notification bell to tell your friends about these videos. And I should see you again whenever the next one comes out. Hopefully it's a KU review for the TCU game. Unfortunately, the band can't be there, so there's no vlog. But, yeah. So until then, have a good day. And as always, never ever bring exotic dancers to the fieldhouse. Peace.